everybody, it's me Aurora. Today, I've got a little bit of a surprise. I actually was uh, able to purchase this after many months of wanting it. And I'm just wanting to do a little review because I've been watching lots of watercolor videos like Emily Arful, The Frugal Crafter, Casey Golden, everybody who does any kind of watercoloring. Um, and some of those people have actually done reviews on this already. And when I opened this, I was a little surprised by some of the differences that I found with these, this box. And this was ordered right off of the Arteza site. I can get them out now. Out, out, out. There we go. Um, I've already opened them, as you can see. But what I found interesting is some of the differences between how mine came versus how some of the other videos looked. So I wanted to go over some of the changes that Arteza made with their 36 half pan watercolor set. So first of all, I'm not sure if everybody realizes this, but most watercolors, the little half pans come wrapped in like little wrappers. Well, everybody else's videos, they did not. It was just already, they were in the little metal things and open already. But guess who spent 20 minutes opening each and every <laughs> one of the little half pans and taking these little wrappers off. So yeah, that was the first thing I noticed that was different. And then the second thing, I do love this tin. The second thing I noticed was different was there's no little color thing over top. They sent you this instead, which is a swatchable card of watercolor paper. So I was like, okay, that's new. Um, after looking through all these, I did notice that there still is not an ultramarine blue, but for me, I was like, look at all these blues, who cares? Um, maybe you do, but I mean, I don't really. And it, it still comes with the water brush pen, which I'm going to fill here in a little bit. And then I'm going to swatch all these colors. I'll be going through it, like, you know, speed through it, but, uh, because I find swatching extremely boring. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're very beautiful colors. And I was, this is heavy. And it's, it's literally my very first, um, real watercolor palette. <clears throat> So I was, I couldn't wait for this to come in. But I mean, look at those colors. Aren't they beautiful? And they're very smooth. They're not chalky feeling at all. They're very, very smooth feeling. So I cannot wait to, uh, yeah, get to swatching these. So that's what we're going to do as I talk about some of my other watercolor palettes that I've had. Um, where are they? Oh, <laughs> you're there. My very first watercolor bit, let me put this in. My very first set of watercolors was this. It was five bucks at Michael's. I had never watercolored before. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna spend a lot of water, you know, money on watercolors if I'm not good at it or I don't like it. So um, <laughs> when I got these, I was like, well, this is interesting. I like how this is working. I know I'm not doing this right, but you know, I, I you know, Skillshare and watching YouTube videos definitely helped. Um, these are super chalky, and uh, but the colors are really vibrant, and that's what I was really wanting. But didn't find the 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 chalkiness very good, and they didn't layer very well. So my second set of watercolors, I bought this Winsor Newton set, which I've used in like tons of videos, and they're nice, but it comes with a white, and I thought, well, what do I need white for? But I do like the purple and this blue here. These two are my favorite. And these two will mix to make that. So it's, it's kind of nice. And the browns are good. Um, the, there's two different greens. Um, I think that's a Viridian and that's a Sap. But, uh, they're, I, mean, it's, I mean, you can see how I've used the heck out of the yellow. But, I mean, it's a good, it's a good little set if you're, you know, wanting to a step up from this. And uh, I, I like them very well. But, you know, you just... Yeah, you kind of outgrow things, right? 
And then my next set was out of a scroller box. And I have used and used and used these. These are the De La Rowney. Um, it's like super thin. And everybody says you could take this pan out, but I have yet to be able to figure out how to do that. So I just left it in here. And the mixing pans are kind of small. But uh, the colors are nice. There's no white, but there's no purple either. But this blue and this this uh, red make a really beautiful purple. So, um, and only one green. So it was kind of like you had to use both of these in order to get the desired effect that you wanted. So, and then I also... When I, was it Wish? I think it was Wish. I got the starry colors, the, uh, they're the, uh, the gold watercolors, and they're, they're beautiful. They really are. Um, you can see how big they are. And I've used them in quite a few videos as well. But, and you can see they have not even gone down. I mean, these are going to last. I'll be able to will these to my great grandchildren. Um, so. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start swatching this new Arteza set. It's got 36 colors, and I cannot wait to get into it. So let's do that. And they are gorgeous. That turquoise is just oh my gosh, and the jade green too. And oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them. Which is what's coming up next. <laughs> I thought it only fair to use watercolor paper from Arteza with the Arteza paints. So I took out one of my little my new little sketchbooks that I got for Christmas, and I've already kind of worked in them with my other watercolors, but I wanted to see how this Arteza, you know, worked on this paper as well. So that is what we're going to do.
as you can see, the colors are just really beautiful. I mean, that just from the swatch card, this set has got some gorgeous colors in it. And once you spritz them in the pans, they're just uh, like butter, really, honestly. They're just gorgeous. I did also notice that the um, Arteza switched from using the white plastic pans to they're like clear they're not they're not white um i don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that mine came wrapped in those little wrappers or just what but you can see that they're they're clear not white and also i noticed because i noticed that when i watched emily's video that hers didn't want to stay in these i had a hard time getting out so I think they may have changed a lot of their packaging. Um, and they're listening. They're, they're definitely listening to us. And now if they could just throw in an ultramarine blue, we'd be good to go. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you can, they're just so vibrant. And I just can't wait to use them on a big illustration. I think it's going to be really fun. And I mean, it still has like the little thumb thing on the bottom. And the mixing trays are awesome. They're very nice and slick, but they don't beat up. They're, they let you mix really nicely. And uh, the colors are just beautiful. And this paper is fantastic. <laughs> I had no problems, but it looks like that stuff all over me. But uh, I had no problems. This is just, I mean, it blends nice. You can get nice washes. And this paper didn't buckle at all. So that's just another testament to one of their products, I guess. So. Alrighty, folks, there is my review of the Arteza, Arteza 36 Half Pan Watercolor Premium Set. So, if you're uh, interested in getting one of these, um, I definitely suggest it because right now they're on sale. <laughs> I got mine, I think it was $23, which is, you know, that's just a crazy price. It's like cheap. Cheap, cheap in comparison to what they are normally priced at which I think is like 43 so um, yeah go grab yours now while you can um, and uh, until my next video I will see y'all later I love you bunches bye